let's get back to results muthoot finance posted uh, uh, lower margins lower than expected and lowest perhaps in the last few quarters and that impacted the return ratios but loan growth was quite good george alexander muthoot managing director joins us uh, on the phone line joins us okay on camera uh, george thank you very much uh, for joining us okay uh, I, i didn't want to start with the fall in margins but let me start there uh, what accounted for the slight narrowing of margins See, net ladder emerges. One impact should be because of the higher interest cost. Because in the last quarter, the interest cost went up. Uh, average borrowing cost went up from 8.7 to 9.3. I think it should stabilize at that level. Although we have increased our uh, yield or uh, uh, return on the gold loans, it will take a two-three months to catch up. So probably it is a blip for this quarter. We should see it uh, uh, panning out better in the next quarter. Okay, uh, George. Hi. Good morning, and thanks for joining us. Uh, I remember the short-term borrowing cost for Muthoot uh, was at a peak of around 9.7 percent in October of 2018. Um, are there any signs of a return to normalcy? You did mention that it's 9.3 right now, but over the next few quarters, uh, what will the cost of funds be on an average? Today, uh, we are we are taking uh, rather we are getting money from the short-term markets. You see, CP markets at 7.9. That's the uh, rate today. So 9.3 was the peak, which was which we had to pay maybe in October. So that is behind us now. Now the present rates going is uh, 7.9. Probably it can come down more or it can go up also because it's a short-term money market. So whatever was 9.75 was a blip. That's also in October number. Now we just come back to rather 7.9. Little more decent numbers. Okay. Okay. Uh, how how is growth looking? Uh, what's uh, I mean qualitatively? We have your growth numbers, but is it that people are borrowing more? Do you see uh, fourth quarter looking better than third quarter? The fourth quarter certainly should look better than fourth quarter, uh, third quarter. Uh, first quarter and second quarter was exceptionally good, but third quarter we had that uh, NBFC, uh, the funding crisis, etc. So we had to uh, we had to consciously reduce our expo- our uh, advances. To shore up capital, uh, shore up money for also our own use, but that is again behind us. December, January, things have started looking up. I'm sure uh, by we have already grown by about 13% uh, up to now. So we should end by little more than 15% growth in AUM in the gold loan by the end of the year. So we should see little more uh, growth in February and March uh, if no other uh, no other shocks come up. Uh, having said that. uh the the guidance we should see is about 15% for the aum for this year and probably next year also should be around that same uh, same range of uh, gold loan growth okay what about the other subsidiaries home and microfinance so there was about a 67% growth in home and microfinance is about 65% it still contributes just 10% i think to your overall aums but what kind of growth do you see there He, there, were, there was a little more uh, uh, rather a problem or rather confusion in the home loan market. So uh, the home loan business, we wanted to uh, wanted to reach about uh, 2,300 crores by the end of the year, but probably we should end by around 2,000 crores only because uh, last quarter the uh, the loan growth in uh, home loan was not that good. Rather, we also slowed down the disbursements in. Uh, home loan sector last uh, uh, three months. Now it is starting to pick up, and we are just re- uh, going very cautiously with the uh, home loan uh, department also. Okay. All right. But uh, having said that, the microfinance has done well. It is uh, it's growing well. Uh, it should go on track, and uh, probably uh, they are much well capitalized because uh, they have got a external, uh, rather a new P investor also in that company. So along with Muthu, now Muthu just. Uh, it's from 70 it has gone to uh, 60 it has gone to 70 percent so mutu to 70 percent there is another investor with about 10 to 11 percent so uh, more capital has come so it, uh, probably there is uh, room for good growth in the microfinance uh, bell star in the next year all right george believe in there today thanks a lot for joining us that's mutu now